Chief Meteorologist David Carnes, always in search of interesting video or cool pictures. What do you have for us, David? Uh, this one is actually live, DC. Take a look at this. Uh, here at Channel 3, we are always doing our best to not only provide the latest in information and latest weather, but also uh, houses for uh, uh, animal life. And so we have, I guess, a bird's nest on top of the camera. It's fiction thriller. It really does, especially <laughs> depends on what the bird ate. So we're going to get right <laughs> off of there and uh, see what we can do. A lot of cloud cover behind the bird. Uh, not much of the way of rain. Still maybe a couple of little drizzles here and there. But the rain, like we saw earlier today, over and done with. We did have a couple of wind damage reports officially kicking in. But I uh, saw this one. Uh, this just came in a little while ago. Thank you to Skip Rominger for sending this in. This is Catoosa County. And this is actually an outbuilding. And it looks like, oh, yeah, the roof, a little bit of damage but he was telling me that uh, this is not actually the position where this outbuilding was. It was down a hill, was blown up the hill, and pretty much completely destroyed. So thank you, Skip, for sending that in. That's Maple Leaf Farms in the Wood Station area of Catoosa County, and that's a 32 by 60 foot building, and that took place at about 1.30 today, and I did uh, double check the radar, and there was a big gust of wind that was in Catoosa County about that time, so that was some of the damage. He also said there were a lot of trees that were downed as a result. Low 60s up and down the valley, winds out of the south at 11 miles per hour. Looking on the average about five to 10 mile per hour winds now and take a look at some of the sky watcher reports of rainfall about a half an inch red bank over in the east Brainerd uh, point eight three in Trenton lookout mountain point six point four Mon Eagle Dunlap saw a burst of rain earlier today one point four inches there and more than an inch of rain up in the Blue Ridge as well a quarter to a half an inch uh, elsewhere in the valley so strong storms again late Wednesday cooling on Thursday and then chilly Friday and Saturday we're upping our severe weather risk it's a one today, it's a three tomorrow afternoon. So that enhanced risk is primarily because of damaging wind and the elevated risk of an isolated tornado or two. The wind risk, we're putting it in at 30%. The tornado risk, 5%, which sounds low, but typically when we have a severe weather threat, uh, Storm Prediction Center will give us a 2% chance. That is being upped to a 5% chance of isolated tornadoes as we head through tomorrow. Hail, that's a possibility with some of the stronger storms as well. So this line of storms that move through to the south still producing some severe weather as it moves into Florida, Georgia, and up into the Carolinas. On the back side of it, again, still maybe a sprinkle or two. Moving into Wednesday, nothing going on for your Wednesday morning. It's really going to be Wednesday afternoon. We'll see a few showers, maybe a rumble of thunder, but the bulk of the strong to severe potential is going to be after five or six in the evening. So as you're getting home, and settling in. All of these dots indicate where we may get a strong to severe thunderstorm that will continue through the 8 o'clock hour. After 8 30, 9 o'clock, everything is east of Chattanooga. And up to about 10 o'clock, we may still see some storms as far east as the Blue Ridge Mountains. Then we'll have some cooler air settling in. So, Storm Alert 7 day forecast showing that Storm Alert weather day for storms tomorrow evening. And then cooling 65 Thursday, 56 the high Friday. A few showers possibly Friday night. And if those linger into Saturday morning as we drop into the low 30s, we may even see it's not likely, but it's certainly a possibility a little bit of a wintry mix on Saturday morning. How about that? Then warming right back up as we head into next week, guys.